In the 1990s, Eddie Loy extended beyond traditional forms to mixed media, among which the most representative works may be his series of colored stones. Although Loy has chosen to use stones, we should note that through the stones he has found a new way of seeking the Tao from a natural object, rather than that he has found a new subject in nature. Tracing back to the Tang Dynasty, Bai Zhu Yi was once amazed by the natural and unique Lake Tai stones. Does the Creator make these stones here on purpose? Does the Creator succeed in congealing the clay by chance? The texture and character of the stones are decided by nature and Lui gives these stones well-designed shapes and colors which makes elegant and unique features. Loi's stoneworks can also be seen as an abstract form of painting that is integrated with natural sculpture. These works are different and random because of the varying shapes, lines and textures of the stones. This randomness not only frees artists to show their personalities, but also challenges their ability to manage forms and colors. At times, his works make us think they are more simply creations of the artist, that they are gifts from the universe and nature. It is likely the Tao, the mother of all things, blurs the border between nature-made and man-made. This phenomenon could be an important clue into how we understand Loy's art. After decades of searching for the mysterious female and the Tao, Loy has realized that he is facing a problem that can never be solved by art. Just like everything else, Art is a specific entity, so it cannot be the real Tao. Creating a totem or image for the Tao is merely an artistic expedient.